Hi, my name is Haley of Mothchild Cosplay and today I'll be talking to you about getting custom fabric printed through Spoonflower. I want to go ahead and say this video is not sponsored by Spoonflower. These are all things that I've kind of learned and done and discovered since working a little bit with this company here and there to create my own custom printed fabrics and I figured I would share this information with you guys. If you've never heard of Spoonflower before, they're a company that custom prints fabric by the yard for hobbyists and home sewists and even small business owners. I've gotten things printed like this which is a Sindori symbol on some nice chiffon. And then I've also gotten stuff printed such as this, which is fabric for an Anna Henrietta cosplay that is still not done and maybe one day I will finish, but I have the fabric if I ever choose to do so. One of the great things about this company is that they don't provide the designs. You make them yourself. And if you don't want to make your own design, that's okay. There's also wonderful thousands and millions, probably at this point, designs by fellow creators who've uploaded them to the Spoonflower library for you to use as well. I really enjoy using Spoonflower because the interface is really, really user-friendly. They're very responsive. Shipping is pretty quick, if I'm being honest, when you think about custom printed items. And it's honestly one of the cheapest options that I've found. I did quite a bit of digging trying to find other companies that custom print fabric for hobbyists and home sewists. And for me living in North America, Spoonflower was the cheapest option. But all of that aside, let's go ahead and jump right into making your own custom printed fabric, which is the whole reason that you're here. So first things first, image requirements. Spoonflower does have a couple of minimum requirements. The first and really the only one being that there is a minimum resolution of 150 pixels per inch. So if you have an image that's four inches by four inches, your whole image needs to consist of 600 pixels by 600 pixels. You see what I'm saying? It can of course be larger, which will give you the option to size up or scale down your design on the Spoonflower website. But at the very, very least, 150 pixels per inch. That's very important. As to how you fill those pixels, once again, that is completely up to you. Spoonflower operates using hex codes mainly as their color sourcing. And as you can see behind me here, they also offer wonderful color maps that have effectively every single hex code. So these you can get custom printed on any of the fabrics that Spoonflower offers for the cost of one yard of custom printed fabric. Does that make sense? So if you were to go and use their signature petal cotton, for example, that would be $17.50 for a yard of printed hex code signature cotton. You're probably wondering to yourself, what do you mean on the specific fabric? Shouldn't they all print the same? Yes and no. Because this is sublimation dyeing, sublimation tends to stick the best to polyester fabrics. So things such as cottons will be a little bit duller. And because of that, I highly recommend going ahead and ordering the sample pack from the Spoonflower website. It's only $3 and you get a four inch by four inch square of every single fabric that they offer, as well as a little tiny box of hex codes so you can kind of see how everything looks. So they've actually recently updated their fabric choices and I don't have the current most relevant fabric sample box, so I'm going to be using the old one, so the names might be a little bit different than what's currently labeled on the website, just a heads up. But as you can see here, this is the woven satin, and the colors are really, really vibrant and pure, and they look really, really wonderful. But when you compare that to, for example, this lightweight cotton twill, the dollars are, are a bit duller. So it is always really, really important to go ahead and get a hex coat if you're incredibly picky about the colors like I am. If you don't care too much, then you know you can always wing it a little bit and order yourself just a fat quarter of whatever fabric that you're getting custom printed just to verify that you're happy with what you're getting. Speaking of, I might as well just go ahead and say every single time that I've designed something, regardless of how good I feel with this hex codes, I still go ahead and order a fat quarter sample. I believe they were $5 last that I ordered one, which was for Anna Henrietta, so it has been a few months, but they're still really, really cheap, and that's much cheaper than paying $20 for a yard of fabric that you might hate. I ended up ordering, I believe, four or five different fat quarters of Anna Henrietta fabric, trying to find a design that I really, really loved. And if I had just ordered the fabric that many times, I would have been out hundreds of dollars. Please just take the extra time, start designing your fabric a little bit earlier, and order the fat quarter of fabric and samples so you can see how it looks. You will save yourself so much headache and heartbreak. I'm trying to really think if there's anything else to currently talk about in terms of specs or information regarding spoon flour. Um, there's really not a whole lot that I can think of, so let's go ahead and sit down and let's start designing something. 
I'm going to be working on a fabric for a Mothra Gajinka that I'm working on for Colossal Con East and I've already gone ahead and drawn up the basic shape of the wing. Because I don't have a tablet, I always like to make sure that I take the time and hand draw any designs that I'm going to be doing digitally on paper. My next step is going to be to take a photo of this, upload it to my computer, and then open this photo in an image editing program of my choice. So originally for this video, I had planned and anticipated to do an entire voiceover and walkthrough of how I'm making this design and why I'm making some of the choices that I'm making. Long story short though, I draw the design out, take a photo of the design on my phone, upload it to my computer, and then open it up in the editing software Krita. From there, I will take the phone image and turn that into a vector, perfecting any sort of weird lines or shapes. And after I make the vector, I'll save the vector individually and create a file that is the size of what I want my actual image to be. So in this case, I created a new file that was 22 inches by 30 inches. In Krita, you're able to specify that you want your image measured out in inches versus pixels versus however. So that's how I knew that what I was getting was exactly the size and shape that I wanted. And from there, I would just blow it up, fill it in with any sort of art or designs that I wanted save that as a PNG or a JPEG. I preferred PNG because that would allow me to keep transparency so I could overlay multiple layers of the same design and move them around as necessary. And then I would create a third file. I feel like it sounds a little excessive. That is the size of the fabric that I would be printing. So in this case, I messed it up and I made my design uh, 36 inches by 60. I should have made it 36 inches by 54 inches. And that allowed me to figure out exactly how to fit all four wings onto one specific yard. If you're more interested in learning about Krita, there are a lot of wonderful artists that use Krita as their main digital art and photo editing software. I'm one of them. I don't know enough to really give a thorough sort of walkthrough or um, tutorial on the program as I only really know the basics. As I learn more, I might be willing to do something like that, but for now, it'll just be silly little videos like this. Their website is wonderfully helpful and there are multiple awesome videos. So I would just suggest checking out their website and then of course, looking up other YouTubers who use the software as well. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, this looks entirely different from the moth robing that I showed you guys last time. Basically, I didn't like it, so I decided to remake it. That's the wonderful thing about digital art. You can always just, start over and it's totally fine. So now that I have my one wing and this is painted and colored two size, so this is 22 inches by 30 inches, I'm gonna go ahead and try and fit that onto a piece of 60 by 36 inch fabric. And I actually already went ahead and did this, so I know that it fits right there. It did take a little bit of finagling, but as you can see, everything is perfectly mirrored, so I have two for each arm and they will all line up and they are basically ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and save this. I saved it as a PNG file simply because that's the file that I typically work with. You can pretty much save it as anything though I wouldn't really do JPEG because that involves a lot of compression. So now let's go over to Google Chrome. Let's go to Spoonflower. So if you guys haven't seen it before, this is the Spoonflower homepage. Really, really easy to use. Everything is clearly labeled. It's great. So right here at the top, we're going to go to upload your own design. Perfect, right there. And then you'll just follow the steps. You're going to select your file. I'm going to be choosing off of my desktop. This one right here, the Mothra Four Wings is what I labeled it to help me know. And I'm going to confirm that I own the rights or have permission to use this. Basically that this isn't copyrighted merchandise and then we'll click upload and it's going to take a second for everything to upload and process through Spoonflower. Um, just chill out for a second and wait. Okay, so my file finished uploading to Spoonflower and it brings me directly to this page and this is where you get to choose all sorts of stuff about your fabric. So we're gonna come right over here to choose a fabric and I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to chiffon, which is what I'll be printing my stuff on. And I want it printed on a whole thing. All right, so I see a little issue right there, which is that a yard is actually only 54 inches wide, which is my fault and that's totally fine. So I'm gonna be going in and adjusting my uh, fabric piece later on. But for now, let me just go ahead and show you some of the different options. So this is the basic, it's just right next to each other, straight down the line, the exact same. The half drop does the same sort of thing, but it drops it down halfway. 
there's the half brick, which basically does the same thing just horizontally. And then you can have it centered to where it's just one individual thing or have it just quad mirrored because why not? Hello. You have a bunch of different options to kind of mess around with. And right here, you can change the DPI of your uh, image. So you can make it much smaller if you'd like or much. And of course, always change the quantity. So I will only really need one yard of this and that right there. Um, the also Spoonflyer does a wonderful thing where they give you a designer discount. So what that means is if you're uploading your own design and you're buying your own fabrics, they'll give you a small discount off of any quantity that you buy of it. I want to say the discount is about 15%, maybe. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's really, really neat that they do that. It's just kind of like an extra little oomph to get you over the, uh, the little hill of buying your own custom made fabric. Which at this point, I feel like you probably won't need help because you're already doing it, but you know what. I hope this video was helpful in your creative endeavors and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow, whatever you wanna do. Um, I will see you guys next week and if I don't see you next week, maybe I will see you at a convention like Colossal Con East where I will be wearing the costume that I'm making using this custom fabric. Yeah. So we actually hit a really, really awesome goal of over $100 a month on Patreon, so I'm gonna do shoutouts for everybody today. Thank you to Gage, Robin, Nicole, CJ Rose Cosplay, Joshua, Things Shall Get Loud Now, Joseph, Joey, John, Samantha, Unicon Cosplay, Rakito, Crying on the Floor Cosplay, Jay Adams, CC, Pitchfork Cosplay, Jason, Chloe, and Arlena Faye.